Hey there, Comets. I'm back with another story. Today's book is called <clears throat> Cat Kong by Dave Pilkey. One dark and perilous night, three mouse explorers sailed toward a strange, uncharted island. Captain Charles Limburger steered the tiny vessel while Dr. Vincent Varmint and his beautiful assistant, Rosie Rodent, looked on. When they reached the island, the three explorers were astonished. A group of natives was performing an ancient ceremony, offering up a sacrificial can of tuna fish and repeating a mysterious chant. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Suddenly, the island began to tremble. Crashing through the thick forest came the most frightening creature ever known to mouse kind, the mighty Cat Kong. Meowing and hissing ferociously, the colossal cat took three giant kitty steps. And tripped over the tuna fish can. Clunk! Cat Kong bumped his head on the ground and was knocked out cold. If only we could bring him back to the city with us, said Dr. Varmint. No, replied Rosie Roden. It would be wrong to take this creature away from its natural habitat just to satisfy our scientific curiosity. Forget science, squeaked Dr. Varmint. Think of the money we could make. So the three explorers wrapped Cat Kong in a giant burlap bag and tied him tightly to the ship. As they sailed back to the great city of Mausopolis, they took special care not to let the cat out of the bag. Several days later, down in downtown Mausopolis, Dr. Varmint unveiled his discovery to the sold-out crowd. Ladies and gentle mice, he squeaked, I give you Cat Kong, the nine-lived wonder of the world. The audience cheered. Cat Kong, however, was not amused. The towering tomcat hissed and meowed wildly. Do not be afraid, Dr. Varman told the crowd. There is no way this creature can escape. I repeat, there is no way this creature can escape. Well, uh, actually, I could be wrong about that. Soon, the city of Mausopolis was in a panic. The ferocious feline tore through the streets, knocking down buildings, ripping out power lines, and generally causing quite a ruckus. Captain Charles Limburger rushed off to organize a counterattack team, while the beautiful Rosie Rodent watched the destruction from her apartment window. Help! cried the engineer. This cat's got my train! Help! squeaked, squeaked the butcher. The cat's got my tongue! Help, shrieked Rosie. The cat's got me. Soon the crazed cat was headed straight for the top of the Romano Inn with the beautiful Rosie tailing behind. A fleet of airplanes quickly flew into action, but their weapons were useless against the meowing menace. It seemed as if nothing could stop the terrifying Cat Kong. Then, suddenly, a squeaking ray of hope rocketed through the thick clouds of gloom and despair. Captain Charles Limburger to the rescue!
Captain Limburger had a plan. He swooped close to Cat Kong and held out a red package tied with gold ribbons. Hey, Cat, he shouted. Look what I've got. He circled again and again, shouting, You'll never guess what's inside this package. Cat Kong stared intensely at the red package. With each passing second, the colossal kitty's interest grew and grew. Finally, Cat Kong could stand it no longer. He had to find out what was inside that package. With one swift paw, the puzzled pussycat reached out for the red package and lost his balance. When the dust settled, a crowd of mice gathered to view the final resting place of the mighty Cat Kong. He's fallen, said one mouse. And he can't get up, said another. Well, said the chief of police, it looks as if beauty killed the beast. No, said Dr. Varman as he looked sadly into the glowing red horizon. It was curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat. Well, that was Cat Kong. I hope you enjoyed it. Comments, please remember, I want you to keep reading every day. It's very important. I want you to also be safe and know that I miss you. And I'll be back again for another story time.